Morning everybody, David here with Shadow Six Creations. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything recently. I'm still dealing with some not very fun health issues. Um, the other day I had to go up to the Veterans Hospital and get some cortisone injections into my neck. So I'm still a little out of it. Still not feeling too well. But today I wanted to sit down and kind of do a little bit more on the tiger. So I've also got a really nice surprise for for this. Let me move a couple things out of the way. So the tiger is almost done. Uh, we've got a few more things we've got to do, and then we'll start getting the decals. But um, in doing the diorama, I found a kit that I'm going to be using um, to kind of add to the diorama as we put it together. So here we go. So what I found was the Tamiya World War II German Infantry set. Um, it's an awesome kit. I, I, I love Tamiya. They've got such awesome details for this. I've already kind of looked at it a little bit so far. Um, haven't really dove too much into it. But this is what we're going to be looking at. This is, this is going to be really fun. Um, this is full of detail, um, as typical with Tamiya. And it's going to be a really nice kit. So let's kind of take a look at this. So here's our squad. Really good detail. The camera doesn't really do it justice. But there's a lot of good detail to these. Um, it's going to be a really fun piece to do. The actual squad. And the other nice thing is the weapons and the equipment that, that this has as well. I mean, look at this. This is just absolutely amazing. We've got Walters STG 44s. We've got a Gewehr 43. We got a Carabiner 98K. We've got the MG 32, the MG 40, the MG uh, 40 uh, 34, MP 20. We've we've got a lot in this, and this is going to be a really fun kit. Um, and in addition to that, I've been using this. Um, Vallejo surface primer. That's the number on it. And I love it. It is fantastic. It is air spray ready. Um, I've got even gotten an extra bottle. I'm planning on getting the white and the black as well. But if you if you are using an airbrush, definitely get this and give it a try. It's really, really good. Really good. So this is what we're gonna be doing over the next few weeks as we prepare to get the diorama put together. So, um, if you're interested in doing this kit, this is the part number right here. This is item 32512, and it's the Tamiya World War II Gym German Infantry Set. But we're going to do something a little bit different with this as well. Um, while it's not designated that they are, we're also going to be using the German Waffen SS Vallejo Paint Kit. So, that's the reference number right there, 70.207. And... This gives us the colors of the German Waffen SS. So if you didn't know, the Waffen SS was the army branch of the SS, the Schutzstaffel. So they had their own branches, they had their own part of the military, and this was their common paint scheme. So really excited to do that. So in the meantime, uh, what we're going to start working on today for the Tiger so we're going to start putting on some of these back pieces. And um, I've already gotten some on there. Like I said, haven't been feeling too well, so I haven't done a whole lot. But today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on this. So we're going to start working on these pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start putting our muffler together. Um, really straightforward, easy pieces. So we're going to be using... Um, Gonna be getting these put together. So let's go ahead and get the exhaust port ready. Pop that one off. We've got this. And then we've also coming over to this side. Here we are, right here. Okay. We're gonna be getting the cap. So very carefully. 
gonna pop these loose and we're gonna get this in place ready to go so it looks like there's a couple pieces that I missed that I didn't get sprayed that's okay we'll go ahead and just hand paint them and get them all ready so get a couple of our my alligator clips I love this this is a handy piece to have handy tool to have alligator clips the post I love this okay let's grab our other where did I sit there we go so we've got the cap as well and okay so I'm going to take our palette let's go ahead and move the tiger out of the way now I haven't glued the body on yet only because of the work that I've been doing on it um, so let's go ahead and push forward on this so we're going to take the exhaust tip and these little tiny pieces right here is what's going to go on it so gently flip that around now it's very difficult to see but there's some holes right there that's going to line up with just like that so let's go ahead and get a little bit of glue on there and we're going to go ahead and just dab it in and i may literally mean we're just going to dab it we are going to use the fine detailing brush just make sure you're cleaning off your brushes when you're doing this that way you don't ruin them and I do recommend if you have an old brush, just do it that way. That way you're not ruining your new brushes. Okay. So, again, we're looking right here. There's a couple of slots that we're going to be getting some of this glue on. Not too much, not too little, because this is actually going to stand up. Now, it might take it a minute to adhere. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to let that dry for a moment. Let's go ahead and get that. There's going to be a couple spots we're going to touch up. Not a problem. Since these are going to actually be hidden behind the heat, the heat covers, uh, we don't really have to worry too much. But you are still going to be able to see them a little bit. So we're definitely going to take care of that make sure everything is good to go. So we'll go ahead and clean off our brush with the glue that we used. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take and paint this piece. So again, um, we're going to be using the German dark yellow. Nope, that's wood grain. And buff. Desert yellow. Ah, dark yellow. So we are using dirt, the Vallejo dark yellow, uh, 70978. Get that in there where you can see it if this is a color you want to add. I do like this color. I use it a lot for other projects. Okay. So now we're just going to, we're just going to go ahead and just paint this up. Get the color on it. It doesn't need to be perfect. doesn't need to be pretty. All we're doing is getting the paint on here to um, cover up anything that may be seen uh, when we assemble it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. There we go. So we'll let that dry and see how that comes out. Okay. Clean off the brush. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a look at this and see what else we're going to be doing. So another part we're going to do is right here. Um, it's a little hard to see, so let's kind of zoom in on the instructions. So right here, we have uh, chain points that we're going to be putting right on the back. Uh, where these loops are on the tank. So let's back that up and we'll look and take a look at that a little bit better. So again, you know, I haven't glued everything in only because this, that it gives me the room to work on it. Okay. So 
So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these points ready to glue on to the back. So we're going to have to kind of backtrack a little bit. And we're going to get those on. That way we can have them um, ready to go. So they're actually on the bottom right here. So we're going to need to be careful when we're doing this. Oh, excuse me. Nope. So we're going to do these two points right here. So we're going to be very careful while we're doing this. Um, that way we don't break them off. And if we do, it's okay. We'll glue them back in position. So let's go ahead and pop these off. We're using these two pieces right here. Okay. Now, when you're popping on, popping these off of the sprues, do it over your table or wherever you're doing your hobbies at. Oh, you don't drop them on the floor. I still make that mistake on occasion. Okay. Got that. Now let's get our tweezers. We can pick these up and make sure everything is good. And a little piece we're gonna pop off. And again, I'm always gonna say this, be careful when you're using knives. There we go. Now carefully, we're going to just pop these right on. Just like that. That's that's literally all we're doing. Okay, and they're going to free hang. They're, you're not gluing these in place. Just want to make that clear. We're not gluing these in place. But we're going to carefully slide them with the attachment point. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So we have that on there. Looking good. All right. Let's check and see how this is coming out. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's double check that. Make sure we have everything that we needed on there. So let's go ahead and move the, the lower hole out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and get these caps on. These caps, we're going to be very careful, especially since it's still drying. So let's go ahead and again, take a little bit of glue. I'm just going to dab it on, okay? We're just dabbing a little bit on. We're going to take our tweezers, flip this over. Now, I'll take that. Now there's a spot. Let's take a look here. Okay, we've got to trim that down just a little bit. There we go. So we've got that trimmed. Let's put a little bit more glue on since we lost some of that. I should have seen that beforehand. It's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to simply just lower this in place. Now the cap is going to have a notch. We just put right in the center. Now, if it still doesn't look the way you want it, go ahead and spray it or paint it, whatever works for you. That way we can make sure that we have everything that we need, everything is painted on there. Um, well, the way that looks, with this one looks, I'm probably going to end up painting that, putting an air spray on it, and that's that's not a problem. You know, I, I like having a good even coat. So, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and work on this other one. We'll do the same thing. Now, because the glue is still drying on that spot, I am going to wipe that down just a little bit. Okay. My dog just came in. Hello, Roshanya. One of these days, I'll have to feature her in one of the videos. She's our, she's my mascot. Back to the model, here we go. Take and set this down. Okay, it was a little uneven on my end. Just like that, okay. Let that sit for a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the cap ready. 
So we'll take some more glue, just like that. And set it down. Not quite even. And there we go. So these are the exhaust pipes um, ready to go. I'm going to let those dry. Um, probably going to go ahead and spray those on as well. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and, and let everything dry. We're going to let that dry. Um, I'm going to let the, the exhaust pipes dry. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to spray them again. That way they're all nice and even. And they're ready to go on the back side of this. Now, they are going to be seated, seat, seated, seating right back here. Now, keep in mind, too, if you want to just do a quick dab of just hand paint them on there, go right ahead. That there's there's nothing, you know, it's not, it's not going to be a bad choice. Um, for me, I just like having an even coat, making everything look nice, ready to go, because they are going to be covered... Like that. So don't stress about it too much. But if you want to go for a perfect look. Kind of like how I do at times. Then go ahead and do that. But we're also going to make sure. That we're always always dry fitting. Okay. So just like that. That's how that's going to sit. And then the, the exhaust is going to sit right behind that. So let's let this dry. We'll come back. And we will keep going on the tiger and get that ready okay so we got those sprayed um, got them sitting got them drying uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start getting these put into place um, I want to get them put into place that way they can dry all together and get everything looking really nice so the, the exhausts are gonna go right here okay so let's go ahead and we're going to uh, get a little bit more glue. So we'll grab our palette. Um, we'll cover up the instructions for just a moment here. So we're going to do this. Going to get that put in place. Um, like I said, we're almost done with this. It's coming along really nice. Um, these are just some of these small details of the tank itself. So let's go ahead. We'll take and we're going to pop some of the glue on here and again this glue that I use it dries clear so don't stress okay so we're going to set that down right there so we got it set in place now, if it's kind of crooked, you can adjust it. Line it up as best you can. Um, and if you feel you need to, like I'm going to do right here, you can add just a little bit just to kind of get it in place. It's not going to be seen. So remember this. Because this, like I said, this is going to cover that. So it's going to kind of look like that. We're not, it's, it's not glued into place yet, obviously. But... That's what we're going to be doing. So, that's how your first one's going to look. Now, let's go ahead and get our second exhaust. Sounds like the dog is out roaming around. Silly dog. Okay. Some more in place. A little bit up there. All right. And again, take your tweezers. Best friend when it comes to modeling, that's for dang sure. And gently push it into place, gently. Make sure that we've got everything lined up. Okay. And there's a little bit of trouble there. A little bit of trouble. There we go. So now we're seated in place, good to go.
And again, I'm gonna take some glue. Just carefully. Oop, bumped it. Just like that. Okay. So there's our exhaust in place. All right, let's go ahead and take and get the covers. These are the heat shields. So these are these seat right there. So first thing we've got to do is we're going to get the um, we're going to get the cover that basically bolts them into place, which is going to be this right here. So we get those pieces. Those are the ones that are going to hold it in place um, on the actual tank is what they would do. Okay, as soon as we get that off, there we go. Trim it down if you need to, if there's anything poking out. Um, so with this, you're going to line it up. It's kind of hard to see. So you're going to line it up there and right there. So again, let's get some glue. I'm going to get this put in place. There we go. Just like that. So we got one. And two. So we'll go ahead and take our tweezers. Line it up. Now, it might take you a couple of tries to line it up. Nothing wrong with that. It just pops right into place, just like that. Okay. Do the second one. We're going to do it the same way. Being careful. Let your tweezers do the work. And it's just going to make it a lot easier. Okay, so that piece popped off so let's go ahead and reset it okay. so let's get that bracket out of the way okay let's try that again so we'll do it with fingers this time and right in place beautiful okay so again that drew that glue is going to dry clear don't stress about that it will dry clear now we do the actual exhaust cover so there's a couple of knobs right there that's going to line that up and those are going to go right there that's how it's going to look So for now, what we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and let this dry. This is a very vital piece. So let's let this dry for a bit, and we're going to come back. And we're going to continue getting this put together. We have all these other smaller pieces that we got to worry about. So um, for now, let's let this dry. And in the next segment, we're going to go ahead and get this put together. All right, we're looking good. So let's take a look at that. Everything's dried, everything is looking really good, everything's coming together. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. We're going to be working on these. Um, I've already gotten some of the sections painted. So let's see what all we have, what we've got to get ready for. Okay. Not that one, there it is. Okay. So we've got a couple of these small pieces that we got to get going, got to get put together. So it looks like that's dried really well. So this small piece we're going to pop off very carefully and we're going to be gluing that on this side. So as we're looking at the picture, it's going to be going like that. This piece is going to go right there. Okay, so let's use the tweezers. Just gently just kind of fold that off. Comes off really well. Let's do the same thing. Okay, good. 
So now these are really, really small components. So what we're going to do, let's get that out of the way. Set a couple things over here. We're going to go ahead and set this right there. Now taking a little bit of glue, I'm going to put some on this palette. I'm going to do the same thing that we've done with most of these other parts. A little bit of glue down, dab it, and good to go. A little bit of that. Here's our small piece. So I'm going to put that just like that. Clean off our brush immediately. Okay. Set that out of the way. Get our tweezers. And again, very small components. So just be careful. Jumped away. And there we go. It's going to take a bit for that to dry. Let that dry sufficiently. Okay. Now, next piece we're going to do is we're going to do the starter rod. So, a lot of you may not know that the Tiger was actually started by a crank. So, literally, like one or two crew members literally had to crank this massive engine to get it started so it wasn't like what we have in our modern cars today in our modern vehicles today um it was it was a bit of a process so we're going to get this rod put it in position now it's a very thin Piece, so be very careful. Now with this, I might be able to just go ahead and use my finger. Yes, yeah, so that'll work. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit finicky. We'll just go ahead and. Use our tweezers to get that put into place. Uh, there we go. That's better. Can we get out of focus for a minute here so I can actually see where I'm putting that? Okay. And the rod is in place. So there we go. Looking good, coming along just fine. So, now that we have that, we're going to work on getting our next small piece. Very small pieces. So it's a little rod that sits right there. There it is. Now, if you're using a knife, again, be very, very careful, not just for the model itself, but for your hands. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so this small piece is actually going to be positioned right here. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of our glue again. Put it into place. Now I'm doing I'm doing extra like this on purpose. I'm doing that so it helps stick it in place as it dries. Okay. Make sure I have it in the correct position. Okay, give it just a moment here, we'll bring it right back into frame. It's kind of hard to see it at times.
and there we go. So we've got our next component in place. I'm going to dab just a little bit more glue on it just to make sure that we keep it in position. Because I do not want that to be moving all over the place. Okay. Now, if there's excess, just gently wipe it away. There we go. Okay. Coming along very well. It's looking great. You know, we're, we have an awesome piece that we're doing. So, from here, we've got our next piece that we've got to put on, which is going to be this bumper. So what we're going to do, um, I actually put that piece on too early, so we're going to pop that piece back off, because that has to go on first, and that actually seats on this component. So let's go ahead, and we're going to very carefully take... that off. We'll take our glue. Let me put a little bit more over here actually. Okay. This is going to be a relatively straightforward piece. Okay, a little bit tricky, so we'll grab our tweezers. And it's seated right in place. That went on beautifully. Good. Just a little dollop right there. I'm gonna let that sit just the way it is coming along very nice so now that we're looking at the instructions again um, this component this little tiny component um, is actually going to be sitting just like this and it's actually going to go into seat right there in that little notch so we can get over here to see it so there's that little notch right there so carefully what we're going to be doing is seating that on here. So we'll put a little dollop right there. Now we're going to very carefully seat that in place. Just like that. Now, if you're worried about it, go ahead and put a little bit of glue on there. Just like that. Okay. We'll let that dry. There we go. So this is coming along very well. This this back end is coming along very well. We've got everything that we need right here that's going to be on and in place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting on the exhaust shields. So coming along very well. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to stand it up and secure it. So we've got a better bit to see. Okay. Now again, you're always going to be dry fitting. And I've already dry fitted these. So they're going to go on there just fine. Okay. So I purposely put excess like that because I'm going to go ahead and share that between these two. Okay, now we're going to carefully seat those in place, just like that. And again, and they are in place. Beautiful. So now we have this little component right here that we're going to need to drop into place right between these. So you're going to need to be very, very careful when you're popping it into position. So let's find that component real quick. Okay. 
Nope. Not, aha, there we are. So we got our small piece right here. Okay, get that off the sprue. Give me one moment here. Ah, there we go. Okay, now for this piece, it's got two points that we're going to attach right there. So what I would recommend is very carefully kind of narrowing that out. That way there's not paint or anything like that in it. Now this is going to be a little tricky to get on there. So we're going to have to be very careful. Use the tweezers, whatever you feel necessary to get that put into place. Not too much glue, but not too little. So right about there. Now. Okay, let's get this ready. Okay, here we go. Make sure that we have everything lined up. We'll go ahead and sit that down. Now, let's get these out of the way. We can see a little bit better. So we've got that sat down. And now... Move it up and put it into place. Just like that. Golden. Beautiful. Take a little bit more, just right here at the top and the bottom. Okay. Make sure that we're seated. All right. Get out of frame for a second. That way I make sure it's everything that goes in there. Okay. And there it is. So this is the back portion of the model. Put together and ready to go. We've got one more piece right there that we're going to put on. Not a very difficult piece. And again, be very careful when you're cutting it off. It is a very thin, thin piece. But more importantly, please be careful of your fingers. So right here, we're going to do this one. Okay. Being very careful. There we go. Careful not to shake the camera. And then carefully just kind of bend it. But you don't want to break it off. Give it a little bit of a... There we go. All right. So now we've got these pieces on. Okay. Looking really good. I'm going to snip this small section off. So again, before we snip anything, we're going to dry fit. Make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and snip this little nub off right there. Okay. I'm just doing this off the frame for a minute. That way we make sure we have everything we need correct. Excellent. Okay. Now with this, you're not going to need a lot. Definitely not going to need a lot, a lot of glue. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Okay. And we're just going to carefully seat it. Give it just a moment here. Apparently I clipped off the wrong piece, but we'll adapt. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll improvise. I drop that piece in. Okay, so that piece is on. Now what we're going to do, since I snipped off the wrong part, I measured that a little wrong. 
but that's okay. So, I'm gonna glue that piece down. Put a little bit right there as well. Mistakes happen, it's okay. All right. So, we have the entire back section of the tank done. Um, it's come along really well. It's gonna be a really good piece uh, for the diorama. So to give you an idea, this is what it's looking like right now. Beautiful. So we'll put the turret on. We've still got a few things that we got to do. But just to give you an idea of what we're looking at before I glue everything together, it's just coming along looking absolutely amazing. So let's get an idea of what we've got to do next. So we've already got the turret put together, so the turret we don't have to worry about. Um, we've got to get the gun on, we've got to get the small components in the front, we've got to get the barrel, we've got to get the cables on, and then we've got to do our commander. So from here, what we're going to do next in the next video is we're going to be doing this piece, the gun, and the commander. So let's let everything dry. Um, our tiger is almost done. It looks amazing. We'll get everything glued on. So let's kind of get a zoom in and just kind of show you where we're at right now. I mean, look at that. It's just coming along very nice. This is everything we've done. If you're following along with this, great job. Um, if you're having some difficulty, don't be discouraged. But it's coming along well. So in the next video, we'll get everything else put together. We'll get the commander put together. And then we start doing the decals. So stay tuned. Happy modeling.